Hey guys, Ethan here, and welcome back to the wonderful world of trombone. Now, today, we're going to be kind of talking about something a little bit different, um, in the sense that we're not actually going to be looking at the trombone, but we're going to be looking at some of the things you use to clean and maintain the trombone. So, without further ado, let's get right into this video. So as I just said, today we will be talking about cleaning and maintenance for trombone. Now, first things first, I want to talk about how you actually clean a trombone. And this is kind of a confusing topic, because the first time I had to clean my trombone, it felt very complicated, even though it was much easier than I thought it would be. So, I'm going to explain to you exactly how to properly clean your trombone and keep it sounding good. Uh, so basically, you're going to give your trombone a bath. And I know that sounds ridiculous, but um, you're going to basically separate the bell from the slide um, and the mouthpiece, obviously. And you're going to uh, soak the bell and the slide in bath water. You're going to put it in a bathtub with some uh, lukewarm to warm water and maybe use some soap to scrub on it. And basically, you're just going to give your trombone a bath. And you want to leave it in there for around five minutes. That'll ensure that it gets cleaned properly. And yeah, it's really pretty simple. So you just... What I would say is um, sometimes some people forget to s separate the outer slide from the inner slide. And if you don't know what that means, it's basically the difference between this and this. So, and you're going to separate the bell too. Um, and you're going to just put those in the bath and soak it. And it's as easy as that, very simple to do, a um, lot less complicated than you think it would be. But anyway, that's basically how you clean your trombone. Um, your mouthpiece, what I would recommend, put it in a little pot on some boiling water um, for a little while, like half an hour, and it'll get rid of any germs on the mouthpiece, because obviously you're, you're basically blowing spit into your instrument, so there's going to be germs in there but that will eliminate any of the possible germs that are still on the mouthpiece. Better than any mouthpiece brush or anything. Don't waste seven bucks on a mouthpiece brush. It's not worth it. Um, so yeah, let's get on to cleaning and maintenance. Now, for trombone maintenance, there's a few things you're probably gonna need when you're maintaining your trombone so that you can keep it working at its best possible condition. One of those things, and the first thing we're going to talk about, is the cleaning snake. This is invaluable when it comes to the trombone, because oftentimes you'll get gunk and stuff stuck in the bell or the slide, and basically what this does, let me take it out, it's basically a long wire with some like brush things at the end, you can see those, and um... Those basically, you put these down the bell and the slide, and it helps to um, basically scrub away any unwanted gunk from your instrument, because it's going to get in there either way. So definitely, I would recommend using this after you bathe your trombone. It's very useful, very good tool to have. It'll get rid of any junk in your trombone. Cleaning snake, great. Next thing... Um, probably the more important thing, actually, is slide cream. Slide cream is going to help you to keep your trombone slide slick so that you can move it back and forth with lots of ease. Um, I use Super Slick uh, Professional Trombone Cream. I don't know if you want a brand, but um, the one thing I will say is don't use... One moment... Don't use slide key oil. Don't use this. It can damage, oops, sorry. It can damage some stuff. And you don't want to damage stuff. 
sorry. That was bad. Um, anyway. So, yeah. Trombone cream. Great for your slide. Just rub it on after you bathe it. Probably once a week. It'll keep it moving nice and fast. Um, you just rub it on the end of the slide, on the end of the inner slide, and then you put back on the slide and scrub it in with the outer slide. And then what you're actually going to do, I'm going to leave this right into the spray bottle. So the spray bottle is basically going to, you're just going to spray it on there after you've put on the slide cream to make it even more slick and moving even faster. So yeah, slide cream and spray bottle, both very good. S final thing we have is slide grease. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, slide grease is, it helps to tune your, or it helps to grease your tuning slide, which is this, um, so that you can move your tuning slide in and out with ease. And your tuning slide basically helps you um, adjust your pitch if you're sharp or flat. And we're going to talk about what those mean later. Um, but we don't need to worry about that now. Still, I would recommend getting this when you do go out and get your maintenance tools because it's just, it's not that expensive and you're going to need it at some point anyway, so why not? Um, so yeah, trombone cream, spray bottle, grease, and cleaning stink. These are the most essential tools for maintaining your trombone, along with making sure that it gets a bath every once in a while. All these things are going to help it sound better, they're going to help it perform better, and it's going to help you as a player. Just, it helps tremendously. So make sure you always clean your trombone and keep it working good, because they're, they're very expensive instruments, and you want to treat them with respect. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, please be sure to uh, go to my website, thewonderfulworldoftrombone.weebly.com. There you can email me with any personal questions you may have about trombone. And anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. 